Okay, we're going to refer back to our original pattern and we are now going to complete the last portion of our picture smocked sailboat. We're going to connect the hull of the boat to the sail of the boat and in doing so we're going to, the pattern calls for two strands of embroidery floss. We're going to satin stitch over two pleats up to the base of that sail and then we're just going to take one straight stitch up to the tip of that sail. I've separated my strands and I've finger pressed them. I've tied a knot and I am bringing my needle up in the valley at the center of this, the hull of the boat. I'm going to go over one pleat to the left just like I'm doing my cable stitches. I'm going to bring that through and now I'm just going to stack one cable on top of one cable all the way from the hull of the boat to the bottom of the sail of the boat. You don't want to dig down deep into the pleat, you just want to stay up. About a third of that pleat is all you want to bite into. All the way to the top. As we've stitched through these two pleats, um, we have gone straight through two pleats. Um, so you're picking up two pleats. When we get to the very top of the base, um, we're going to be at the base of the sail, we're going to bring our needle through, up through the valley, so we're going to only go through one pleat. And now we're just going to carry this thread all the way to the tip of the sail go down through the valley at the top, pull that all the way straight through, and now you've got your main sail finished. Since several people have asked about um, half stitches, um, I thought I would show a magnified version of how I do my half stitches and maybe this can help you out uh, as you work on your half stitches. Alright, we're going to work across our row and we're going to work however many cables it tells you to stitch and say we've come to our very last cable and the, the after the last cable we're going to do a half stitch. So we're going to pull through to our last cable now we have a half stitch. We're going to carry the floss over just one pleat and we're going to go into the back of our fabric with our needle at the top of where the, that last full cable was. We're going to pull through and that's just going to be a half cable. Alright, now we're going to invert our work and the next row will ask you to start with another half cable. So bring it up in the valley, which is how I do it. Bring it up through the valley. Don't pull your thread through like I just did. All right, take one pleat, pull that through. You're going to t go over just one pleat again. Now you're ready to start cabling. That was your half stitch. And now we're going to start pulling our cables through. And as you can see right there, there is our two half stitches. I hope you can see this really well. That's all there is to half stitches, is you're just going to go over one pleat. I hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed working on this picture smocked sailboat today and I hope that it has helped you a lot in your understanding of how to do picture smocking. 
Um, I'm not an expert at it. Um, I've learned my my way of doing it. Um, a lot of it's, you know, I've learned new techniques through uh, programs I've taken through Saga. Um, I encourage you to become a Saga member. Uh, you can learn a lot of things. The Artesian program is a lot of fun, especially uh, these correspondence courses. You really learn a lot of stuff. The handouts are great from the teachers. They're very uh, well explained and it will help to perfect your smocking. So I hope that I've helped you today in, in uh, perfecting your smocking. And thanks for allowing me to do this for you.